So, I mean, in this video, you're going to kind of, are you going to teach us how you do this? Is that is that right? Yes. There are lots of different ways to geolocate an image and we'll, we'll look at different techniques. Some are easier, some are harder, but there's a lot of different ways to approach it. But the, the end goal is always to find out where someone was or where an image was taken and then try and verify as best we can that it's accurate. Okay, let's start with the first one. So here we have a picture of you, David, standing in front of this Egyptian kind of wall. And looking at the lighting and also the part that is visible on the right side, I could indicate this wasn't actually in like outside Egypt. It was in a building because I can see the lights in the ceiling. I can see that there are other things there as well. So I can assume this might be a museum or at least an indoor area where there was a piece of this Egyptian wall. So one of the ways to see where a picture was taken is by doing a reverse image search. So a reverse image search can be practically done by Google, Bing, Yandex and TinEye. It's probably the top four where you want to go if you want to do a reverse image search. So a reverse image search is asking the search engine if they can recognize an image, if it might be anywhere in the data they have stored so far. So we're not searching with words or letters or numbers, we're actually searching with a picture. And it's going to be looking at some of the fragments of a photo or a picture to see if it can relate to something they have already in their data set. And I like to use Bing for a number of reasons. So when you're at bing.com, in the search bar, there are three icons indicating on the right. So, and the middle icon is the one I want to use because you have the option to either put in a live URL to upload a photo or to even take a photo with your webcam, for example, but we're going to be uploading the image we just saw of David. And now it's going to be seeing if it maybe recognizes the photo from anywhere else. And the result we're getting is a lot of pictures of people standing in front of a beige colored wall with probably some encryptions in there, like the one David is standing in front of. But none of them are exactly the same as the one David is in. So there are two ways to go. The first one would be to do a visual search. So underneath David's picture on the left, we have an option called visual search. There will be a frame placed over the photo and we can adjust the shape of the frame and let it focus on other aspects of the photo. So we can maybe focus on one of the pieces of the wall to see if it maybe will find a matching piece of wall. But we're not still not getting the right result. Like, all of them look a little bit the same, but not exactly the same. And one of the ways to improve the reverse image search is by cleaning up a picture. And trust me, you don't have to do any Photoshopping skills or whatsoever, because there are actually two great websites that can help you out. There is a website called remove.bg, which can help you remove the background of a photo. In this case, then David would be the person lighting up but we already know it's David. So David is actually the person we want to remove from the photo. And then we're going to be using cleanup.pictures, which is a online free tool. You can upload a photo to it. And as you can see on the example where you can see the paper and the ruler and stuff, you can actually erase stuff of the photo. Like if you think there would be a great way, like if you have a photo of somebody hiding behind a van, you can remove the fan and see the person behind it. That's not gonna happen. It's going to be using artificial intelligence to color in whatever you're removing. So we're going to be uploading David's photo here. And now we're going to be using the eraser function to erase David from the photo. Try to be as precise as you can be. Be blurring. There we go. It makes a guess of the color that would be behind you but now we have a full image of the wall you were standing in front of. So now if we take a screenshot or we download the photo as we see it here, there we go. And then we go back to Bing and we're going to be uploading it again. So now the first image we're getting, we already see that there are like three or four significant like 
bricks. And we see them in the first photo as well. And if you now open up the first result, and now we have the exact same wall David was standing in front of, and now we can find out where it was taken. In the purple, it says description. And at the end, it says in Oxford. If you go to the Flickr page, it has the exact uh, museum name. So that's how we found it out. So at first we did this reverse image search where David was still in the picture and Bing was only showing me other people standing in front of a beige colored wall, probably with Egyptian figurines on it, but it was not giving me the exact same thing. And sometimes you need to clean up a picture in order to get to that result where you were looking for. So in this case, we removed David without any Photoshopping skills, just by using a free tool available on a website. And we were able to locate where this picture was taken. And that's a very relatively easy way to geolocate something by using a reverse image uh, search. I wanted to ask you, can we look on Google? If you, if you go Google Maps, can we look at the Ashmolean? Because they've probably got it right there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look at Google Maps. Places like museums and, and places of public interest have a lot more um, additional photos in them. Okay, so here is the Ashmolean Museum in Oxford. If I turn on Street View, you see we've got all these photospheres on the inside that people have taken. So these are all fixed, so we can't move around, but... Because yeah, some of the museums allow you to walk around inside of them. Yeah, right? and this this one doesn't, it seems to, let's see though, if you can figure out. Now, this looks less Egyptian, this part of the museum. Yeah, obviously here we're relying on someone taking a photo, aren't we? Yeah, if, if there's one in there. Although sometimes in museum, they they post what kind of collections they have, and they sometimes That's put true, yeah. uh, photos of the collections they have as well. And we could maybe find the image there as well, but I haven't. In my search for this, I was just really happy to find the exact museum where it was. Google, you have obviously Google Street View, but you get user uploaded photos as well. So when you click on the location, so if I select Ash the Ashmolean Museum, I can see all these photos here. Oh, Street View and 360. Uh, so these so these are all the 360 views. I wonder if you type Ashmolean Egyptian, they might have the, because um, the Egyptian thing is normally, it's normally there quite often. We'll look at their website and then, oh yeah, we've got loads of, um, this looks kind of promising. So you learn so much in open source intelligence, right? So what is this? What are the galleries on the ground floor? Right. I would, I'm trying to see if it has some something like, you know, um, a 3D view or something like that. So it's actually got quite a lot of Egyptian stuff. I found it. I put it in a chat. It's not a 360, but it's the same wall. So this is from uh, a review, looks like a review website, Amazing Days Out. This is the same thing, but seen from a different angle. I guess that kind of helps with the verification aspect of it as well. So we had our hunch about where it was, but we actually need to prove where it was uh, so we can use other sources to do that. So if you go to the original photo, I thought behind my knees, there's a sign there. I yeah. thought that would be a dead giveaway. Did that help you as well? Did that kind of like hint towards it? No. Or did you just realize, oh, straight away it's a museum? I realized straight away it was a museum because we can see that there were other areas like on the right where you can see the lighting and it looks like museum-ish. Sometimes yeah. you see these ex exhibitions at airports, for example. But for me, it felt more like a museum. Googling for where in the world museums have Egyptian uh, expositions or where they have pieces of wall available, that could be one of the paths to go as well. But I thought it would be more fun to do a reverse image Much search and to figure out was, if I can that find was it great. that way. Gee, that was a great, great example. I, I really like that. Yeah. Cleaning up and reverse image thing was brilliant because that's not something I've, I've seen people do. I've sold like 90% of the photos you've signed up upon um, by doing a reverse image search. It was like really easy.